One of the most common sources of shoulder pain is a process called impingement syndrome. Impingement syndrome is basically an irritation of the rotator cuff muscles uh, that ultimately leads to pinching of the rotator cuff underneath the shelf of bone called the acromion. In fact, the ball sits, uh, uh, the humeral head sits here, and the rotator cuff wraps around the ball and then can sit underneath this acromion. And with movement, it can get irritated, cause breakdown of the tendon or tendinopathy or bursitis just above that level. So evaluating impingement syndrome is going to focus on muscle testing and recreation of those movements that might lead to that impingement. To isolate his rotator cuff, we want to evaluate the four different muscles of the rotator cuff. They're going to either internally and externally rotate or isolatedly abduct the arms. So keep your elbows at your side, if you will, please. We're going to have him resist external rotation, so push your elbows out sideways. And that's going to evaluate his infraspinatus and teres minor. We're going to have him then push his, push his hands in and internally rotate. That's going to evaluate his subscapularis. But if you watch very carefully as he pushes in, it also evaluates his pectoralis muscles. So to try to isolate his subscap, we're actually going to uh, bring his arm out to his side, and we're going to have him push in with his hand and, tup and pat his tummy. And as he pulls in, that actually isolates his subscap much better to evaluate for an isolated subscap tear. The, the most common injured uh, muscle of the rotator cuff is the supraspinatus muscle. And to isolate that, we'll do an empty can test. So we'll abduct his arm, we'll internally rotate with his thumbs down, an empty can, and then we're going to resist his uh, uh, motion going up. And if, he can, if that causes pain, it's likely to have rotator cuff tendinopathy. If, when I push down, his arm just drops down, he can't hold it up, that's significant for probably a complete rotator cuff tear. Now further, more specific tests to evaluate for impingement uh, are going to include the Near and Hawkins impingement tests. And basically what we're going to try to do is pinch on the rotator cuff underneath the shelf of bone, the acromion. So the Near test, basically all we're going to do is we're going to take the arm straight in forward flexion all the way up and see if I can pinch the arm against that acromion. If that's the case and causes pain, that would be a positive sign of impingement. The Hawkins impingement test we bring the arm into abduction, neutral position, and then we're going to actually internally rotate, which brings the greater tuberosity up underneath the acromion that can lead to impingement in that position also.